my hands on fade here you can see right off the intro badass looks amazing the vibe and everything to it is fantastic we're gonna look at the abilities i'm gonna break them down in detail as well as give you my opinion at the end and interactions so let's get into it first we have her C, which is her Prowler. Once you shoot it out, as long as you hold it, you can guide it like a Skybird or a Jet Smoke. The minute it sees an enemy, it will target that enemy, blinding and deafening them. On top of that, we have her Q. Her Q is quite interesting. Once it hits the ground, it will instantly decay someone in an AoE effect. So you can decay an entire team by 75 instantly, as you can see here, and it'll also block off the map from being seen. A very stacked ability to say the least, it cannot be shot out either. Once thrown, you can press Q once more to make it drop quickly, kind of like a forced Phoenix Molly mid-air. Again, once it drops, it will decay you. Her E is a, <laughs> as you can see here, an AoE effect that not only marks you through the wall, but will have a trail behind you for quite a long time. And once you pop Prowler without controlling it whatsoever, it will follow that trail towards its target. This makes it extremely, extremely stacked. Now, once again, the Q cannot actually be broken. The E, however, that reveals people through walls can be broken and Prowler can also be broken, so keep that in mind. Her ult is huge, just look at the map to see how wide that range is. Once you pop that ult, it does a lot. <laughs> so first of all, it will make a trail that lasts forever. You'll be instantly DK'd by 75, and that DK goes back a lot slower. And you got paranoia, and you can't see your map. You get debuffed like crazy, put these together, it gets wild. I can reveal someone through a wall, throw Prowler, then debuff them and one tap them in the foot. It's nuts. Now some fun interactions. Prowler will be sucked by an Astra, <laughs> by an Astra suck. It's it's hilarious. This is why I love doing debuff. But it powers through. It powers through a lot. Astra's wall won't stop any throwable or any abilities coming out from Fade. It's a good thing to know. However, they aren't completely immune. I'll get to that in a second. Another thing to note is that Fade's C will not be stunned. It can be shot out. It can be broken through abilities, just like a Brimstone alt. However, if there's a Molly on the ground, it will power through it. It has enough health. It won't be seen by a Chamber Trap in particular, but it's not all equal. As we head over to Cypher, if I get tagged and then I get prowled on the Cypher, the Cypher can still see me be pinged through it. That's pretty standard stuff. Prowler will be seen by a Cypher Trap. So, like I said, not all equal equal chamber it's whatever <laughs> cypher it's seen now everything goes through a uh, cypher cage this is obvious however prowler will make the audio sound while going through another thing to note is once prowler is out it won't break while being suppressed by ko again prowler will not be stunned i would double check with neon as well so obviously there's a lot of little things to learn but a lot of things are also basic for example prowler will interact like a sky alt in a lot of ways the uh, e will interact like a sova dart in a lot of ways so there are things that are familiar some things that you would expect to not work won't work for example boombot won't target prowler and a sky wolf will not do anything towards it either however it will explode by a raise grenade because it takes damage so a lot of these principles will apply moving forward some funny ones are the way it breaks a sage wall again it's like a sky ultimate in its interactions which is the best thing i can explain to you guys i found it hilarious but yeah if it breaks through and it's ready damaged it will power through and then target sage going straight at her kind of insane there's a uh, little thing so for example prowler isn't affected by anything but we throw down a slow and, well, it's slowed down. So Prowler is definitely the same interactions as a Sky Alt one-to-one. -one. I have no doubt when it comes to that. Just one-to-one, -one, easy peasy. Everything else will work as usual. And I gotta say, overall, this agent is nuts. I mean, the ultimate range alone blows my mind. Like, absolutely. But... Besides that, there is a couple more things to test. The first one being Sky's ultimate on Fade's ultimate, but it's gonna be exactly like Sky vs. Sky. It looks the exact same. They literally go past each other, targeting one another's enemies. It's it's identical. I know I've already said it, but I wanted to push it and make it super, super clear. Um, the dog cannot interact with it. Surprise, surprise, I didn't expect it to. However, again, still a couple more things to test. We ain't done quite yet. Um, Yoru is hilarious. 
it will completely ignore a Yoru clone and attack Yoru directly head on like there is no tomorrow. Um, Yoru's clone is countered pretty hard by Fade in more than one way. So that, that's one way. But the other way is the reveal. It will reveal Yoru himself, but not the clone. Yeah. This goes with every other agent, but I wanted to mention it doesn't cause a trail on the clone or anything like that. Once Yoru pops his ultimate, he's no longer revealed and he doesn't leave a trail. That was the big one. I wanted to see if he would leave a trail. I couldn't target him. I couldn't do anything. Once Yoru ults, things are reversed and he is then invincible. This goes again once he ults too. Okay, that's the overarching part of Fade. Most of you got the information you need, but now I want to talk. Pay attention to the map for a second. We're going to go through these clips again. And in case you guys are people who really like to go in depth and learn the agent, pay attention here. The map range on these things are insane. Absolutely insane. The E, the, the, the reveal, as well as the decay are huge AoEs. Like, you're going to catch people off guard like crazy. At least that's my opinion. Look at this. Look at the map. Bam, that's a huge AoE for something that instantly decays by 75. That is no joke whatsoever. Absolutely not a joke. This will also go with the reveal. The reveal is even larger. This looks like nothing compared to the reveal. So here we go. Watch this. Well, after this this uh, after this clip, you'll see the rage. It is absolutely insane. Also, this goes for a while. It takes me all the way to garage before it even fades out. Look at that range. Did you guys see that? Do you see the map range on that reveal? Insane. It looks like a KO dart range. Maybe a little bit bigger. Nuts. Absolutely nuts. Now, my thoughts on Fade. She's fun. I am not a huge on playing Initiator. I found Sky pretty fun, but not my cup of tea. I couldn't get into Breach. Finally, I can say this is an Initiator I will enjoy playing a lot. I know a lot of people say that, but I will definitely enjoy playing this Agent a ton. She is fun. She's thematic. She looks cool. Her voice lines are fun. And just the abilities are very coherent. She won't be for everyone. Her abilities need to be comboed. They also complement each other. So for example, Prowler, like I said, will work on its own with control. But if someone is left and you have a trail, you can have everything go after them. The big one though, is when you mark a ton of people, I don't know how confusing it'll get with trail marks everywhere. You know, they split up. Like, will you really be able to use it as information? I'm not entirely sure. Gonna have to leave that up for the yeah, pros, but she is fun. She is strong. Now, yeah, yeah, absolutely. if it comes to predicting what tier yeah. she'll be, I will admit, I don't know. I think she'll be A tier. I don't think she'll be S tier, but unlike Neon, I don't think she'll come out and be useless. And that's huge. That is huge. But those are my thoughts. I'm going to be reviewing the new RGX bundle very, very soon, a couple hours from now, and then I'll be looking at the battle pass. So stay tuned